Happy day children this is class 5 SST chapter number 18 the freedom struggle part 1 so in this lesson children we will learn about uh, the struggle our freedom fighters fought for our country and how they got independence for our country from the britishers so we are going to read in this lesson so i told you in the previous chapter when we learnt about mahatma gandhi ji how the farmers and the people other people who uh, had many other occupations uh, how they suffered under british control they were paid uh, they were asked to pay more taxes right so this was a struggle faced by the indians so and this also forced the indians to unite and uh, fight for our country's freedom from the britishers okay so i told you after the establishment of indian national congress uh, all the freedom fighters they joined together and they fighted unitedly against the britishers okay and uh, the partition of bengal in 1905 it was happened in 1905 uh, so it brought about the rise of nationalism in india okay so the britishers uh, they partitioned bengal and this was not liked by many indians this also was one of the re- main reasons for the fight against the britishers so when we read about the previous chapter about mahatma gandhi i said you gandhi ji was a torch bearer which means he was a light for our own country yes so as soon as he came from south africa in the year 1915 he was uh, shocked to see the poverty and hunger faced by the farmers and other people in our country so he decided to protest against the britishers in the non violent way okay he don't want to use any weapons against the britishers he just want to use non violence and truth against the britishers and he started fighting for the freedom uh, which the policies which he adopted in africa so now we will see one by one what are the movements uh, which happened in india before independence and how it, le- it led to independence uh, from the britishers okay so this was the saying about mahatma gandhi from mahatma gandhi if india won her freedom through truth and non violence india would not only point the way to all the exploited asiatic asiatic nations she will become a torch bearer for the negro races so if we get independent through non violent way it will be an example for the other asian nations also okay so even african countries they also follow the same non violent way and they will attain independence this is these were the words said by gandhi ji and this shown how he supported non violence and truth so these are the important acts and movement we will see about uh, independence so the first one is rowlet act so the rowlet act it was happened in the year 1919 so the british government uh, enacted the act called the rowlet act which gave the government they had the uh, right to arrest anyone to send him or her to jail without any trial so without asking any questions the government had the power to arrest anyone this was called as rowlet act but the people protested against this act they don't want to follow this the why it is called as a rowlet act means it was uh, found by general the british general called rowlet his name is rowlet you can see in this picture so he only found this he only adopted rowlet act and uh, he only signed this rowlet act and he asked to follow the uh, soldiers and uh, police against the indians okay so this was the first act by the britishers next incident is jallianwala bagh this is a major incident in the history of india against the britishers okay so it was happened in the year 1919 there was a meeting which was held in um, amritsar okay there is a, a place called jallianwala bagh it is a garden in amritsar 
okay uh, so there was a meeting which happened against the britishers regarding rowlatt act so the people were having a meeting they were speaking about the rowlatt act so how to avoid this how we can um, fight against the britishers there was a meeting happening there so suddenly uh, general dyer there was a, a general called british general called dyer he ordered his uh, men to fire the people in the in jallian wala bag so without any announcement uh, or without any reason suddenly he called all the soldiers and he fired against the indian people so there hundreds of people were died in this incident this was a great shock for whole of india and after this incident Mm, people were fighting more against the britishers because men, since many people died in this jallianwala bag incident so after jallianwala bag there is a movement called khilafat movement so this happened in the year 1920 so this happened when turkey was defeated in first world war the allied powers as i told you they decided to divide it among themselves so the uh, the turkey khalifa the turkey head he was uh, he didn't like it because he was the religious head of the muslims as well he don't want to be under under the allied powers okay so the ali brothers they started the khilafat movement uh, so the ali brothers were maulana mohammad ali and maulana shaukat ali these these two people these two brothers they were called as the ali brothers and they started this khilafat movement they don't want to be under the allied powers uh so any more so in the year 1920 this is this uh, movement called khilafat movement started and uh, gandhi ji supported this khilafat movement and he thought it will be a unity for hindus and muslims as well so that is the reason he supported the ali brothers so khalifa means nothing but khilafat khilafat movement was started in the year 1920 i said so khilafa means the religious head of the muslims so after khilafat movement uh, there is a movement called non cooperation movement this is also one of the most important movement this happened in the year 1920 uh, so i told you gandhi ji joined indian national congress uh, so they decided gandhi ji and his men he they decided to start a non cooperation movement which is called so called as non violent movement which means without using any weapons they should not cooperate with the british government so that is why it is called as a non cooperation movement so uh, for example in this non cooperation movement the students they did not uh, go to school and colleges lawyers they uh, protested the law courts i mean uh, they did not go to the law courts they boycotted and peasants especially farmers and the weavers they refused to pay the taxes for the britishers and government servants the indian government servants they refused to go to government jobs so this is called as non cooperation movement which means no indians supported or cooperated with the british government so this non cooperation movement it became a violent it became violent in the year 1922 after 2 years uh, so 20 policemen were burnt alive uh, by gandhi ji men at chauri chaura in uttar pradesh so gandhi ji did not like this activity because he followed non violence but when people became violent and uh, they fought in a violent manner uh, this this incident it did not like gandhi ji and he called off the movement he don't want to continue the non cooperation movement anymore so in the year 1922 so immediately after 2 years uh, gandhi ji recalled or called off the non cooperation movement okay and uh, this there were also some people who believed the freedom believe that freedom can be achieved through violent methods also like they can fight using a, a knife or weapons or whatever they had uh, so they 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 are called as revolutionaries okay uh, so few freedom fighters like chandrashekhar azad bhagat singh draj guru bk dat uh, jatin das so they were or they were called as revolutionaries revolutionaries are freedom fighters who fought in a violent way using weapons against the britishers they are called as revolutionaries 
um, they were all, they also sacrificed their lives for the motherland definitely we have to appreciate them is it children yes so after non cooperation movement in the year 1928 there was a commission which was uh, uh, sent by british government so that is called as simon commission it happened in the year 1928 so to just to study the effects of 1919 act the british government they sent this uh, simon commission uh, it had a seven member people seven member group were sent from britain to observe why uh, observe about the 1919 jallianwala bag incident so that commission is called as uh, simon commission so it happened in uh, bombay so the older name of mumbai is bombay okay and um, just a uh, seven members i told you they were uh, sent from britain so it happened in the year 3rd february 1928 and uh, people protested against this uh, commission or a group of people who were sent from britain and they carried banners as uh, simon go back so that was a slogan which uh, which was very famous uh, uh, those time uh, so that is called as uh, simon go back and this happened in the year 1928 8 so sir john simon was the head of the commission so that is why it was given as a name from the head uh, and he was uh, greeted with the black flags and people carried uh, many slogans as uh, simon go back so this was a great shock for the britishers since uh, indians were fighting against the britishers